Hey you! Would you mind helping me out a little bit here? You see, I'm working on this new lemonade recipe, and I'm trying to get it just right. So, I was wondering, would you mind tasting it and giving me some feedback? You would be doing your fellow neighbor a huge favor, and be doing your good deed for the day. Why, why not? Even if you don't like lemonade, you don't have to drink a lot. Just a sip. Do you not think I can make good lemonade? Do you think I spiked it or something? Do I look like I would do something like that to you? Am I that unworthy of trust? That unworthy of anything? I'm sorry. I'm sorry for bothering you. You will, after all? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Again, as I said, just take a good sip and let me know what you think. Too sweet, not sweet enough, whatever to make it better. It tastes... weird? Weird how? And not sweet enough, you mean? Uh, hey... Hey, you don't look so good. Is everything fine? You feel drowsy and dizzy all of a sudden? Why don't you come back to my place? Someone to take care of you is just what you need right now. I'll take care of you, baby. I'll always take care of you. Well, well, well. My sleeping beauty has finally decided to wake up. See, you must have somehow caught on that there was, in fact, something wrong with my lemonade. I was actually getting worried for a second. Worried that you wouldn't drink it. But, one look at my pleading little eyes, and you were all over that lemonade. Gulped it all down. And that weird taste you mentioned? Yep, it was in fact spiked. Hey, don't struggle. I said don't struggle! Do you feel that? My hand pressing down on your neck? The stopping of your blood flow and air? See, if you don't start behaving, Things may get a lot worse. Do I make myself clear, darling? <laughs> Good. You're finally behaving. See? I'm the one in charge here. You are gagged and blindfolded. Your arms and legs have been tied to my bed. Even if you were able to break free of your restraints, this room has been completely secured. Soundproof walls, steel doors with padlocks, tinted soundproof and padlocked windows. Of course, this is all to protect you, darling. Now no one can get in or out without me allowing it. Hell, if you wanted to get in or out of here, the only way to do so is if I let you, or if you somehow managed to construct a nuclear bomb. Now... Do you see how much I've done and prepared for you? How much I love you? Now, I'm going to take your gag off. You're bound to have questions by now. Remember, no screaming or fussing. All that would accomplish is it would piss me off. And we don't want to anger the boss around here now, do we? All right then, ask away. Why you're here? Baby, you're here because I love you. Haven't you been listening? You are here so that I can protect you, keep you safe, keep you from everyone and everything that could hurt you. You are here so I can keep you all for myself. 
say? Why are you struggling and trying to move away from me? Let's sniff this behavior in the bud right here and now. The blindfold is coming off. Don't you fucking dare look away from me. There. I'll just grab your face and force your gaze to meet mine. And if you close your eyes, I'll just force them open as well. When I want something from you, you will give it to me. Or I will take it by force. You belong to me. You are mine, baby. You are mine, baby. Do I make myself clear? See, I took you because I love you. For months I followed you, watched you, and loved you. As soon as I saw you, I knew that I had to have you. I knew that... I knew that I had to make you mine. At first, though, I was going to ask you out normally. But you made me have to take a more drastic route. I saw you talking with some vermin the other day, and I just can't have anyone stealing you or taking you away from me. At first, I thought it was enough to dispose of them, but I figured that I should just take you as well to avoid any further risks. In a sense, this is your fault, don't you think? If you hadn't had eyes for someone else, I wouldn't have had to take you. Finally coming to grips with the situation, are we? Falling silent and with fright in your eyes? It sure does seem that way. But don't worry, darling. Now that you're here with me, safe and secure, no one will be able to steal you away break your heart, or do anything that I don't approve of. Do you realize how lucky you are? For someone to care for you this much? For someone to own you? You don't even have to go to school or work. I can cook and clean for you, wash you, care for you, and most of all, love you. Here in my love nest, no, sorry, our love nest, you are free from the burdens of the outside world. At least the only thing you have to think about is how much our love will blossom. Now, why don't I get on top and straddle you? I know you're tied up and can't get away. But then, you will be even safer beneath me. Safe in my embrace. Safe with me. Hmm, that feel good? Being under me? Being in my control? Being enveloped by our love? You know, everything about you is just so perfect. But my favorite of all your loving traits is your skin. Your lovely, luscious, lickable skin. Feel that? My tongue tracing hearts behind your ear. You have no idea how much desire and love I have pent up for you. How much need I have for you. I will make you love me as well, no matter how long I'll have to keep you tied up here. You are mine, baby. Mine forever. Completely and utterly mine. Mm. 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 Good morning.
morning, my sleeping beauty. Hard kiss is just the best way to wake up. You must have fallen asleep while I was out, huh? Well, now that I finally have you in my grasp, everything is so much better. Looking at you, touching you, feeling you, having you was just such a relief. I could really get used to this constant state of bliss with you. I don't think I could ever let you go, baby. I will never let you go. Don't even try to think about getting away. You are mine. Mine forever. Anyway, you must be getting hungry by now. While I was out, I grabbed your lunch. You must have just been about to heat it when I came over earlier. Not to worry, though. I've prepared it and everything, so it's ready for you to eat. And I have the perfect way of feeding you, too. After all, you are restrained, so I have to feed you. It's not like I can make you eat like a dog, though that does give me a good idea for a potential punishment if you don't obey. See, as I might have said earlier, I'm not going the normal route of feeding you by fork or spoon. No, we are going to do this in a more intimate way, a better way. See, darling, I will feed you via mouth to mouth. That way the food will be enriched and enveloped in me and my love. With this, you'll get a taste of both me and the food. A fill of both love and nourishment. Well, as I said, you must be hungry by now, and know that if you spit it out or disobey me in any way, there will be consequences. You not accepting my food laced with love would just not do. Now that I'm thinking about it, this is just like you are my baby bird, and I'm your mama bird. <laughs> my gorgeous baby bird. Huh? What's with that face? You're not going to spit it out, are you? Fine. I'll hold my hand over your mouth and nose so you can't breathe. Now you have to swallow it down or there will be no air for you. Now you have to swallow it down, or there will be no air for you. There we go. That tastes good, my darling. Feel good too, maybe? No response? Well, I'll just take that as a yes. What is this on my hand, darling? It seems that when I had to hold your mouth shut, some of the food got onto my hand. You tried to spit some out, didn't you? No response again? Well then, I have an idea. Lick my hand clean, or I will get mad. Now, get to it. Lick my hand clean. That's it. That's it. Wrap your lips around my fingers one by one. Sucking them clean. Polish my palm with your lips and tongue. In fact, why don't you continue for a bit more? Maybe I'll have to put that wonderful mouth of yours to better use later as well. Okay, that's enough for now, baby. Or I'll get too worked up. <laughs> You've done right by me now, and all is forgiven. I've gotta say, though, you're even better than I could have ever imagined. Perhaps you disobeyed me a bit there just to get me to punish you. Maybe you like me being in control? Maybe you finally see your place in the world. In our world. What's with the sudden blush? Maybe I really am onto something. Now don't you see how perfect we are for each other? As I've stalked you, uh, no, watched over you, I've picked up on a lot of things about you. I've seen how you can be a bit shy and closed off at times, 
how you can be quiet and a bit introverted, how others just can't fully understand you. With me, though, you can truly be yourself and be understood and accepted by me. Here, you don't have to live for anyone else but yourself and our love. Here with me, all your desires and wants can be fulfilled. Say, why don't I move my chest up to your hand? Not so you can just fill me up though, dummy. So you can feel my heart. Feel that, honey? The warmth of my body in your grasp? The quick and loving beats of my heart? This is what you do to me, baby. My heart races just for you. It beats just for you. Just as the rest of me lives for you. And you only. My heart would definitely stop beating without you. So please, darling, don't you ever even think of leaving me. I love you so much and just thinking of you leaving makes my heart and soul ache and tremble. In fact, the thought of you leaving makes me feel something else too. Something more violent. Even if my heart stops beating in your absence, I'll make sure that whatever or whoever causes you to leave me shall have their heart stop beating as well. Naturally, you, I could never kill. If you left by your own will, I would have to recondition you a bit, though I'd never kill you. Say, someone else made you want to leave? Of course, I wouldn't just kill them. I would make them plead for me to kill them first. Say, you wouldn't leave me for that vermin we spoke of earlier, right? The one I saw you eyeing all over. Maybe I should take care of them tonight, just in case they try to make you leave. Hey, hey, hey! What's with this reaction? Why the screaming and pleading for me to leave them alone? And here I thought you finally understood your situation earlier. You aren't asking me to spare them because you still care for them, are you? They clearly have put some sort of charm on you, seduced you in some way. Now, now, this won't do. The only solution is for me to eliminate them, crush some vermin under the sole of my foot. Oh, baby, baby, crying won't help your situation. But don't worry, this isn't your fault. You are the victim here. They've hurt you. And now I have to get rid of them. They have put you under their spell and now here you are, thinking you somehow care about them. I just have to get rid of them, and with that, their seduction will cease, and all your love, attention, and care can be for me, and me alone. Hush, hush now, baby. I will protect you. I will protect you. Get rid of those who have hurt you and clearly still are messing with your head. I'm helping you. They are hurting you. I love you, they don't. Let this be a show of my love and dedication. How far I'll go for you. How much I love you. Let me hold you close for a bit. The drugs seem to be kicking in. See, your food wasn't only laced with my love. They were also laced with some drugs for sleeping and relaxation. I was careful not to swallow any myself. Still, I'm feeling really tired now. So why don't we fall asleep together, and I can get rid of the vermin later. With the drugs coursing through your system, you'll be sure to fall asleep soon. 
and with me holding you close, you'll be sure to sleep enveloped in love from both inside and outside. Hush now, baby. I can hear the tiredness in your voice, the wish for slumber looming in your eyes. Why don't I get on top of you and straddle you properly now? Can you feel that? My chest pressed against yours, my arms and legs locked onto you, my soul intertwining with yours in an embrace of love. Can you feel how our hearts are beating together? Percussion instruments leading to an orchestra of intimacy? Feel my lips on your ear, how they gently kiss and breathe love into you. If only we could stay together like this forever, baby. Though, together forever we will stay. I have some errands to run and some vermin to crush tonight. But then I will come home, and we can get right back to embracing each other. Let's stay like this and fall asleep together. Being together. Just being together for now. I love you, baby. I love you so much. So, so much. And I'll never let you go, darling. Baby. Baby. Darling, wake up. It's almost noon now. Oh, I hope I didn't overdo the dose yesterday. But either way, how are you feeling? <laughs> Still a bit hazy up there in that pretty head of yours? Oh, yes, I'll take you to the bathroom. I guess it has been a while since the last time you went. I had to tighten the ropes around you after you fell asleep in my arms yesterday, just in case you woke up and wanted to get away before I got back. Not that you could get away, mind you. But you could find a way to hurt me. Or worse, hurt yourself. Remember, I'm doing all of this for you and your own safety. But, yeah, bathroom trip. First, to loosen up the rope from the bed frame, then the same rope attached to your left wrist. Darling, before I remove the rope that's tying your wrist to the bed and everything, let's make something clear. You can't get out of here. That much I have made clear by now. There's no use in trying to run away or hurt me. The only thing you'd achieve in, say, killing me and being free to do whatever here, is to starve away as you realize how impenetrable our love nest is from both inside and out. Do you, do you promise not to do anything stupid, darling? Ah, good. A nod. Simple and direct. Good baby. There we go, all free. You're probably still a bit groggy from just waking up and from the dose I gave you yesterday. But I trust you to keep your word in not doing anything stupid now that your limbs are free. You've been tied up and unable to walk for a while now, so why don't you just lean on me while I guide you to the bathroom? Does that sound good? Okay, baby. Just lean on me, and I'll take you to the bathroom. I don't mind you relying on me like this. Oh, you're so precious. Here we are. Now, I'll let you do your business by yourself. As much as I may or may not want to look, I'll let you have a bit of privacy for yourself. There's no way you're getting out of there other than this door, of course. Speaking of the door, 
It can't be locked, but I promise I won't come in unless I have to. So yeah, just go on in and do whatever you have to do. I'll just stay close by in case anything happens. Oh, there we are. Came out on your own as well, huh? How come you've just been nodding all day? Even now, all I got was a nod. I removed the gag and your blindfold as well. How come you're not saying anything? No response? Just looking at the floor. You're free to say anything, my love. As long as you don't scream or throw insults. Just lay your head on my chest, and I'll wrap my arms around you, and you can take your time. There's clearly something bothering you. Let me hold you close, and you can try telling me what's wrong. Okay, baby? What did I do to the one who was talking to you earlier today? If I hurt them? Oh, love. You need not concern yourself with them. I didn't hurt them. Too badly. Let's just say that they're not with us anymore. They're in a different place. They're in a place benefiting to their conniving kind. Oh, baby. Now you're crying? See what they're doing to you? They're making you all upset and sad when you shouldn't be feeling that way at all. They manipulated you. When I went to their house earlier tonight, I saw some things before I made them go away. Some awful, awful things. See, there was a dog's corpse rotting away by their bed, mangled and starved. The part that was the most sickening is whose name had been branded onto its naked skin, where its fur should have been. It, it was your name. You're calling me a liar? Oh, baby, stop trying to tear away from me. Fine. I won't hold on to you, but hear me out. And please, love, stop screaming. I had a feeling their manipulation would run this deep. You see, I took pictures of it all. I have proof. Now, before I show you, know that it is some pretty disturbing stuff. And there is way more of it. It wasn't only the dead dog. They had pictures of you, dating back months ago, taken from outside your windows. Pillars, barbed wire, whips, and all sorts of stuff. I don't want to imagine what they would have been used on you for. To say the least, I don't think they were planning to do anything wholesome with you. Now, I have pictures and proof of it all, if you still don't believe me. But... but are you sure you want to see them? What... what if I plan... What if I planted everything or faked the photos? Baby, I could never! I might love you more than anything, but there are limits to the methods I would use to make you see that. I don't think I could ever do that to a dog. In no way could I fake photos of such things. As you may come to learn, I'm far from tech-savvy. Hell, I once tried photoshopping photos of us together, and I couldn't even do that. So no way I could have faked photos such as these. I wouldn't even have the time. I use close to every waking moment I have with you. At most, an hour or so is what I can stomach before feeling all kinds of pain from being away from you. Darling, there are a million reasons why I wouldn't mess with you or trick you like that. I ask you one final time. Do you want to see the photos of what that vile creature had in their home? You don't want to see them? And you believe me? Oh... 
Thank you so much, darling. Now I can finally burn these photos and rid myself of them like I did that husk of a person that wished you harm. I know. I know that that was a lot to take in, and their manipulation ran deep, but now it's over. Now you're here with me, and I'm here with you, together in our love nest. Their spell on you has been lifted, and you need not think of them again. And you need not think of them again. Say, why don't we snuggle up on the couch in front of the TV for a while? Let's just hold each other close, and we can watch a show or a movie of your choice. Maybe some music, and you can listen to that too. Or, or maybe nothing at all. And just the two of us. What do you say? Oh, good. Then we'll do just that. Why don't you come take my hand and come lay on the couch with me? I can lay down first. And you can lay on top of me. And maybe we can pull a blanket over us. And we can just stay like that for a while. We can go and grab something to eat in a bit. But first, it's time to snuggle. There we are. Just the two of us. Just snuggling close, and I'll wrap my arms tightly around you. I don't remember if I told you earlier, but I work from home. Essentially, I write and edit books, and along with money from my wealthy parents, let's just say money won't be an issue for us in this lifetime or the next. I can stay by you all the time, save an hour or two a day, where I'll still be right by you, but I have to have my focus divided between you and work for a bit. I just wanted to let you know that to reassure you, to make sure you'll know that I'll be with you far more than any ordinary lover ever could. Know that this moment, where our arms are locked on each other, as our hearts beat in unison, as our love intertwines, as a moment that doesn't have to stop for a long time, we'll be together forever, baby both metaphorically and perhaps literally, I'll never let you go. I'll never let you go. Now, any shows or movies you want to watch? 